Hello and welcome to the channel. I am here for a list video for you guys. Now this is actually going to be a top six essential metalhead albums list. Now keep in mind, uh, some people might not agree with this list. Some people might say, well, where's this album by this band or where's this album by that band, you know? Uh, but keep in mind that, you know, this is just um, my personal list. And I think no matter who you are, I think most metalheads can agree that every metalhead should give these albums a listen. But before I do begin this list, I would like to uh, begin with some honorable mentions. Those honorable mentions would be Leprosy by Death, Anima by Tool, uh, The Jester Race by In Flames, and Slipknot's debut album. So yeah, those albums could have easily made this list, but I wouldn't go as far to say that, you know, you have to absolutely listen to them in order to be a metalhead or whatever, but yeah. Um, but I think that these albums are you know, basically essential. Now, I know this list might trigger some of the, I guess, underground guys out there, uh, you know, for not having, you know, the bands that only have, like, <laughs> like 5,000 subscribers on their YouTube page or whatever, but hey, man, I'm just not about that, <laughs> you know, but yeah, whatever. But this list, I'd say, uh, is definitely an essential list, so yeah. Uh, and we're going to begin with Paranoid, by Black Sabbath, and I think no matter who you are, I think you should definitely agree that, yeah, this is definitely a must-listen for any metalhead. Um, I remember really loving the song Iron Man, like, years back, like, back when I was really young, um, and I never really got around to listening to the entire album until, like, a few years ago, but, yeah, I definitely dig the album, though. It's definitely one of their best, and you could very easily have thrown Master of Reality on this list, but I don't know. I, I just feel like Paranoid is um, just more essential, I, I think. But yeah, it's nonetheless one of their best. I mean, it's got great songs like War Pigs, the title track, Fairies Wear Boots, and of course Iron Man. I mean, these are some great songs. Um, yeah, definitely a very enjoyable listen, but yeah, Black Sabbath with their album Paranoid. I'd say it's definitely a must-listen for pretty much no matter what kind of metalhead you are. All right, so next up, now this is probably the most um, controversial one on the list because some people might not have chosen this album from this band to be on the list, but hey, it's my list, okay? <laughs> but yeah, next up we got Power Slave by Iron Maiden. Now, I know there's some people that would have... Um, replace this album with uh, Number of the Beast and put it on the list, but uh, to me that album is just a little overrated. I still think it's a great album and definitely worth checking out, but I, I don't think that that album is, you know, I, I just think it's a little overrated, but yeah. I, I think no matter who, who, uh, who you are, whether you're a Maiden fan or any kind of metalhead, I think at the end of the day you, you still have to agree that yeah, this is a fantastic album and uh, definitely a must listen for any metalhead. I mean, this has, well, some of, maybe some of the best riffs in metal, period. I mean, some great songs on here like Ace is High, Two Minutes to Midnight, Flash of the Blade, and, uh, the title track. These are some great songs, but, yeah, Power Slave by Iron Maiden, I mean, definitely listen to it if you consider yourself a metalhead. You should not be disappointed. It's a great album. Okay, so next up, um, this one might be a little controversial too. Um, I know there's some people that might not have picked this album from this band to be on the list, but hey, whatever. <laughs> next up, we got British Steel by Judas Priest. Now, like I said, it's a little controversial because there are some people that may not have chosen this album to be on the list. I know there's some people that do prefer Painkiller which I do think is an album that is just a tad overrated. I don't think it's a bad album. I, I think it's a great album, actually. But I don't know. I've always preferred British Steel for some reason. I don't know. Um, but I really dig this album, though. It's definitely a great album. Uh, you got great songs on here like uh, Metal Gods, United, and, of course, Living After Midnight. But, yeah, definitely great songs. But, yeah, definitely a classic um it's a classic Judas Priest album, and definitely listen to it if you consider yourself a metalhead. Um, definitely a great listen. I mean, I got pretty much no complaints with the album. It's a great album. 
So Judas Priest with their album British Steel. Okay, so next up we got Ride the Lightning by Metallica. Now, you could argue that this one is also a little controversial because, well, some people might argue that Master of Puppets is more essential or even the Black Album, but I don't know. If I had to choose one Metallica album for this list, I probably would have to go with Ride the Lightning. And yes, part of the reason is, is because I do think it is their best. I mean, this album to me has no bad songs on it. I know some people don't like the song Escape, um, it's not one of my favorites, but I don't think it's a bad song, but I would probably agree it's my, it's probably my least favorite song on the album, but, you know, this album has a lot of great songs on it, like, um, the title track, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Fade to Black, Trapped Under Ice, and Creeping Death, um, I mean, this album just has so many great songs on it, so, yeah, definitely a great album, I consider it Metallica's best, and definitely one of my favorite thrash metal albums of all time. So once again, if you consider yourself a metalhead, haven't heard this album yet, definitely give it a listen. You won't be disappointed. Um, definitely one of Metallica's heaviest albums too, I'd say. But yeah, great album. So that's Metallica with their album Ride the Lightning. Okay, so next up, <laughs> this album here is pretty much a given. I mean, if you know me well enough, you know that this album would have definitely made the list. This is not only what I think, not only do I think that this is an essential metal uh, album, but it's also one of my favorite metal albums of all time. And that is Rust in Peace by Megadeth. Now, I do think that this is Megadeth's best album. Now, once again, some people might, you know, have Countdown to Extinction on the list or even Peace Sells, but who's buying on the list? But I mean, I think anyone can pretty much agree that uh, Rust in Peace definitely, um, deserves to be on a list like this. I mean, this album is fantastic. I mean, if you're a metalhead, definitely give this album a listen. Definitely has some of the best guitar work that I've ever heard in metal, personally. Especially with songs like Holy Wars, The Punishment Do. I mean, the solo in this song will just really impress you. I know my at my first listen, it really blew me away. But yeah, great song. You got other great songs, of course, like Hangar 18, Take No Prisoners, and Tornado of Souls. I mean, these are some uh, classics, of course. But yeah, Rust in Peace by Megadeth. Definitely a great album. Probably my favorite thrash metal album of all time. But yeah, great album. Okay, so now we're at the last one. Now, uh, some people would definitely agree with this album being on the list. Um, but yeah, here it is. So lastly, we got Vulgar Display of Power by Pantera. And I do think that this is Pantera's best album, um, if not one of their best. I think there's a lot of people that would agree that this is one of the best albums from Pantera. I mean, you got great songs on here like Mouth for War, A New Level, uh, Walk, of course, it's a classic, um, This Love, and Rise, which I think is a pretty underrated Pantera song. But yeah, I think anyone can pretty much agree that this album is basically an essential for any metalhead. So if you consider yourself a metalhead, give this album a listen. Uh, you should definitely not find anything disappointing about it. Uh, it's a pretty heavy album too. Um, but you know, this album is just, I mean, it's such a great album. I mean, if you're a metalhead, definitely give it a listen. So that's what I got it lastly on my list, but not least. So yeah, Pantera with their album, Vulgar Display of Power. Well, there you go, guys. That is my list of what I think are some Metalhead Essential albums. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I tried to be objective with my list, too. Uh, not just, you know, pick out these albums because, you know, these are my favorite albums by these bands or whatever. Um, no, I wouldn't say that was the case. Um, but, you know, I, I did try to be fair with this list. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um... And what albums would you personally have as uh, Metalhead Essential Albums? Please let me know in the comments. So with that being said, thanks for watching and have a nice day and take care.